It is Roll Out Live with Speedy and Friends. I be Speedy. up in this. Bitch. <laughs> I okay, I see. It's a little twang from the bottom. <laughs> <of the sauce. laughs> Man, y'all don't understand. Boobs just in case you just tuned in, it's too bad for you. Uh, <laughs> and now we got Fatima Ming. And now we got Shelly Rio. And now we got Chef Cat. And now we got Whisper Washington. Whisper. Somebody yesterday was like, "Is her real name Whisper?" We like, yeah. <laughs> Everybody asked that. I'm so excited I you guess. came back. Yeah, yeah thanks like for having you. me back. I was like, no, yeah. you just came. Um, <laughs> 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 well, no, like. Look, uh, Whisper's here. Okay, right on time. <laughs> right on time. Uh, behind the glass curtain, the one, the only, my first seat, Big Don, right here. See, Big D. <laughs> Speaking of Big D, I want to play matchmaker. Fuck? I want Whisper <laughs> and Big D to go on a date. I don't oh know if y'all are single. God. I did you just say I'm that? Like, oh, I, I did. Like, I will like, stress his life out. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking Why about this. Not his life. You, you know his Why dad. You, is, you know his dad is right here. Maybe you shouldn't say it in front of me. I don't Because I've been thinking about it since she left. I'm like, they would make such a cute couple. Sorry for y'all on blast. But she no, you not. definitely put them all the way she, on. She's been thinking about it on radio. It wasn't even like I'm gonna pull you to the side. That was marinating on her brain since last week when you were here. Hey, Shelly, we was on break for a minute too. Right. Right. Didn't didn't walk past people. <laughs> we all were eating, so you know. We were eating. Listen, they're saying they can't see us, FYI. Oh, well. that sucks. Talk to Floss, then. Well, they, they can, can hear, hear us. Oh, Hilarious. No, please don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I got to move my seat. No. Uh, the food was fantastic. I yes. just had the potatoes, which were marinated in what? The sauce on top of it was uh, mango madness, bone cleaner, barbecue sauce, and the actual potatoes were a garlic mash with a couple extra little seasonings in there. Yeah, they were fabulous. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. And and normally I always I put pepper on everything <laughs> like, and salt. No, I don't do salt. Really? Mm-mm. Yeah, didn't you say oh. that like a couple of weeks ago? But I could have sworn in my house you like I need more salt, and I said you need more salt. No, 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 no. I don't know. And if I did, it would be sea salt. But I'm trying to remember what we were. But I don't do the regular. Oh salt. yeah, I use the smoke hickory sea salt. In the yeah, and I always use sea salt. <laughs> but pepper is like like. I'm the dude that go to the restaurant and screw the top off. Like, nigga. No, please. you don't. And do I have to do oh a shit. Are you serious? Oh, my God. <laughs> God. And if it don't no, look dark, it ain't no. for me. He doing the most with that. Nah. My bad. Uh-uh. Yeah, I got to take. And, and, you know, the, the waiter guy, <laughs> he's standing right there like, hey, what's up, man? Hey, go on, take your top off. <laughs> put, my little, put my lace on there. That don't make your food taste like disgusting, all that pepper. I love pepper. I Yo, love pepper. I That's like soaking it in salt. Like, how? Yeah. No. Your mouth don't totally. shrivel? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, sorry, no. sorry. I apologize. Okay, uh, loud. I mean, whisper. <laughs> uh, the barbecue sauce, the pineapple Paris. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Very. Th- like your thing is gonna be heavy. Pi- no, it was just really good barbecue sauce. It was really, really good. A I plus try plus. The barbecue sauce. Like the barbecue sauce. Yeah. Uh, Can I bring it home? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Speedy looking at me like, hell no. <laughs> no <I'm laughs> Downer, what would you think of the hot, hot sauce, the yellow one? Ooh. It was really good. I'm waiting on the ghost pepper she says she has. I'm going to taste that. Do you think it was really Thank hot? You. It was hot. It wasn't like extremely hot where I need some water. Now. I mean, for me, I, well, water actually makes it worse. You're supposed to suck on bread. Mm, I'm not sucking what? on anything. So <laughs> you're supposed to do what? I can't. Pass all that. I can't. Yeah, Who sucks you, on bread? I'm telling you, if you Shelly. drink water, <laughs> it actually <laughs> makes it worse. So See, you that's why you're allergic. Up, like, no. That's what happened. You were sucking on the bread. You made that up. Now no. you're allergic to gluten. So <laughs> you, I've never seen anybody take bread go, mm-hmm, I'm telling I'm you, if you eat there. something so spicy, you either suck on bread or drink a cup of milk. Yeah, so yeah, I can't yeah, drink Yeah, I've heard of the milk thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that milk well, suck on bread. I never heard <laughs> sucking well, on bread. Next time you're about to die from I never heard <laughs> sucking bread even come together. <laughs> I ain't never even. Lord. Because you eat All bread. Right. I mean, we're gonna put that on the shirt. Mm -hmm. Go suck (laughs) on some bread. (laughs) (laughs) So, again, if you want to get uh, Chef Cat to cook for you or you just want to get the sauce, what do they do? They can reach out to me on Instagram, underscore Chef Cat with a K for personal chef services, catering, um, on site, whatever you need. Barbecue sauce, you can either go to my website, bonecleanerbbqsauce.bigcartel.com, or you can order it through the link at, on Instagram at mm-hmm. uh, bonecleaner underscore bbq sauce. How'd you come up with that? Um, well, I've seen everybody eat 
<laughs> when they eat, they were literally chewing the gristle off of the ends of the bone oh to get God. the sauce. <laughs> like eating the the pieces of fat that I'm gonna throw away yeah. for the pizza for the sauce. Yeah. Like so, when you start eating stuff that's not edible for yeah. the sauce, then you you didn't clean that bone. <laughs> bone clean. Yeah, so that's what happened. <laughs> and it's actually really cute because when I was doing the uh, the events and the pop ups and stuff mm. like that, my customers were coming back with like their big beef bones and stuff mm. like that. So I have like a whole box of just big bones that I'm going to end up like tying up and like using this. Something. Hilarious. Yeah, it's, it gets really cute. Like, what are those? Someone ate them. <laughs> yeah, rib okay, bones. Okay, uh, we don't want that. <laughs> I'm allergic to that for sure. Exactly. <laughs> but you do do uh, not pure vegan meals. You have meals that don't have meat in it, right? Yeah, everybody does. Uh, sure. How's your mac and cheese? <laughs> it don't have meat in it. No, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I got dairy. <laughs> no, no. I mean, how is your mac and cheese? Is it fire? It's killer. <laughs> yeah, it's killer. Is it the seven layer or seven? Uh, I use about four or five different cheeses in it. Um, but, yeah, it's not like a layered. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, um, your mac and cheese is what I think it is. Yeah, it, it's sure hella fine. killer. But the, okay, so the catering or mac and cheese that I make, mm. it's it's hella killer. Um People have me come up just to do the do their sides and stuff like that. Yeah. But the one I do for the holiday is my grandmother's recipe. Mm. But because hers, you know, consists of eggs, I don't do that with the catering orders. Um, but yeah, okay. so um, but yeah, hers is hella good. <laughs> Wait, so why? So where did bone cleaner come from? Like, from, oh, you just asked that. <laughs> Sorry, no, because I was responding <laughs> again. Stay was, out of the it chat wasn't room. Lace, oh I swear, God. I was <laughs> answering a question. Stay out of the chat rooms. <laughs> No, it's from people eating like all the gristle and stuff. So they like, yeah, they wipe the bones off. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll be all right. <laughs> it felt like groundhog day. Like, no, <laughs> in my what? defense, they were asking me again what the site was. So I was typing it in for them to go to your oh, Instagram. Oh, and thank your, you. Right. No, I'm not thank just you. ignoring what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> Pretty much you were. So, like, if someone wanted to place an order, kind of like the trade that you brought for us, do they have to come, like, pick it up or do you drop it off to? The oh, customer? that's something like that. They'll have to come pick up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I mean, I usually don't private for like private services. I'll mm. go on site and I'll cook for like up to 30, 50 people or something like that, mm -hmm. or even more than that, like for catering. But um, when it's just like pan orders and stuff like that, like that will technically feed 25 people um, okay. as a side. So, you know, if you're just picking up, uh, if doing one pan, then you got to come and get it. Okay. Come get it, dog. Yeah. <laughs> then they going to know where you live. Oh, she live right here. Oh, they ain't going to know where I live. You ain't coming to my house. <laughs> <laughs> like, meet Sorry. me at this commercial yeah. kitchen. Uh, see you on the corner. <laughs> exactly. Little dope deal we do you on the corner. come pull up to this 76 gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Roll your window down, homie. Yeah. Shoot that cash Give me the money. <laughs> give you the food. That's how we do yes, that. Sir. <laughs> Funny. I want some sauce. <laughs> Give me the money. <laughs> now you said your daughter, right? Yes. Is she cooking? Or she got skills? Or she chose not to really want to cook. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. She actually can cook. Actually, she actually is a really good. Uh, she makes some really good pastries. Oh. But she just won't. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, she's uh, she's eighteen now, so she's off. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's doing she's her. She's doing her. Well, she does hair and nails, so she don't want to be in the kitchen when she's mm -hmm. like making bank off of just hustling on Instagram with her hair and her nails. Right. So I'm just oh, like, how oh, you do your thing? Do oh, I yeah. need her then. Yeah. Oh no. So she, she does house. Like she does house. Oh, Business? totally, okay. yeah. And she's um she does mm -hmm. the full on acrylic long as hell design stuff, all that. Yeah. Okay. Ladies, you, you, do that. Exactly. I I and do um this. you used that's why you do this uh, I mean I'll paint them if once in a while, but I'm like, how do you wipe your butt with them long hair? <laughs> like Fuck, I'm Shelly. German, like, There's seriously. other things before you get to your butt. <laughs> no, but you know, how you pick up a pencil? How about like, I could give a crap about a pencil. I'm trying don't to be clean. You go out like that. You got to grip it. You yeah, wrap you it, it different. Right. Yeah, yeah, when you process. pass nails over like this long, you kind of learn. You got to yeah, learn. Yeah, yeah. It's I a process. I just not do it. No. These are, yeah, these are chef nails. These are horrible. Are these yours? Are these natural? Yeah. Like, this size, this is normal. Yeah. Like, I've had them like long. Like though, girls that have like I don't know how y'all do it. I mean, you you feel she a little. She just said you wrap. Yeah. You feel a little challenge yeah, for the first just, couple days when you they're really long. You just curve your hand. It's a whole different way of holding mm. stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> I want different. a clean booty. Well, because I mean, you don't want to knock it. <laughs> ah, <laughs> too much information. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first you had hives. Now you want a clean booty. Yeah. Too don't much. you want a clean booty? Man. <laughs> <laughs> I use wipes. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm a real dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now, you you said you cook. Whisper, right? Yeah, you got I cook. skills? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can cook. You got mad skills. Yes, sir, I do. Okay. I do. My aunt still uses Crisco, so. Oh, Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> In that jar? To, yeah, she taught me how to cook, so we don't, we don't play. <laughs> I, I said, if you really want to know someone could cook, ask them to do, uh, what is it, um, gravy from scratch. Oh, oh My man. grandmother and my mom could do, and no lumps. Take that flour and know how much to put in there. Exactly how and man, that takes flour. skill. My Just G. wait until you taste. Oh, you ain't gonna be down Thanksgiving with the roast juice and turn that into gravy. That's gonna mm-hmm. be so good. Mm-hmm. You said the roast? roast. Yeah, the juice, oh, the juice from the roast mm-hmm. and then turn that into gravy. That's gonna be hella good. You're That's not, you gotta skill. do it with the meat that you didn't cook. So you know? whatever so, the meat is. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then because you're getting all the seasoning and flavors and it's mm-hmm. basically been reduced down like it's mm-hmm. mm. fire. <laughs> I like how you said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's been reduced down. <laughs> like, oh, this this she went. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I just taste it right now. <laughs> oh, she said. Oh, gosh. What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> I'm we did, we did, we did. <laughs> y'all are, I never said that, but that's, that's what like she said. That's her dad saying, like, ew, we don't want to, like, picture that. That's gross. You're like the creepy uncle or something. <laughs> From the long range. <laughs> Can I just be the funny guy? Why can't I be a creepy uncle? The creepy uncle. Because <laughs> you're more like the creepy uncle. <laughs> oh, wow. But Rio thinks you're funny. Oh, my God. And that's all that matters. Right. Those Rio. One of you Rios think I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly Rio or Rio Rio. Uh, all right. So uh, your daughter, she doesn't cook, but she can do hair and nails. Yeah. And she kill it yeah, on, online. Yeah. yeah, I need someone to do my, braid my daughter's hair. Totally. Oh, does she braid? Oh, yeah. Okay. She does... Uh, Everything's extensions. Um, she does weave. Hmm. She does braid. She does hmm. cornrows. Okay. Yeah. I thought she just did bumping curls. <laughs> well, no, but I mean, nah, she but won't not even all do that. Stylists can do the summer. Just do press and curls. So oh uh, no, she won't know. even do that. She that's not even an appointment she'll take. Um, See, so I didn't. Know yeah, what kind of hair so she did. she'll right. do. Yeah, she'll dye and then she'll do all the extensions. Um, anything like that. Oh, but yeah, yeah, she won't take like need her. And yeah. she does house calls. Yeah. Oh. Um, so yeah, either she'll go to you or you put come her, her Instagram her. out there. What's her IG? Right. We gotta personally put that out. Nah. You know her daughter like that. She don't promote that on her IG, so therefore I'm not gonna put it out there because yeah, she she should make maybe a separate one for that. She should. No, she should. She um just doesn't use it. Actually, I think she does. Uh, Paris nails by Paris is probably what her. Uh-oh. Does she do lace fronts? Because that's where mm-hmm. it's at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can. I would them never. And them lace I would have it. never dated a woman that had a lace front. No, oh, really? I love a lace front. I, I mean, if it's done right, you can tell. But wait, the lace no, done I, right. I, I wait, the, the lace, lace front, front. You have baby hair. Yeah, right? yeah. That's well, the new way they do it. They don't put it. You used to put it right here in the front, <laughs> and you had that straight line. <laughs> yeah. Bitch, you ain't never had a but straight line. That's not a lace front, right? No, I'm saying that's how they do it. But now they start it here, and they take your hair and go over top, so it blends. In right, but what if you don't have hair up no, there? No, so that's not what well, yeah, it is. I thought, I thought, I thought it <laughs> he's talking about like, like a half wig, yeah, and then they yeah, like glue it down, it yeah, down, right? They, it's glued down, so you do whatever it is. It I is, can't date you. And you put a well, cap, Beyonce wears them, you put right? a cap, and then you glue it down. If it's done right, Speedy, you wouldn't know it's a lace. Yes, I got scared. As soon as I do this, you're gonna, hey, motherfucker. First of all, you shouldn't be doing as a nobody, yeah, that's right. Well, you didn't move. Cause that's your shit. Well, I know, but nobody wants someone. Well, mine, their face. mine is uh sold down. So go ahead and tug. You know, right. when I get right. mine done, <laughs> right? I'll be like, it's sure sold down. Pins get on there, put. And that's Got what clips. she does. She, yeah, she mm-hmm. sews in everything. Yeah, um, but I don't know if she does the whole lace front yet. No, I just know that yeah, because no, she but, had leave. My daughter's ten me. years old. She just needs. She wants braids. Oh, well, that's fine, yeah. yeah she can do that easy. Can't lace front a ten. No, 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 no. You can. Some people have. Some people have. Might as well get my son a beard then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, the dudes with That'd the fake a beard. Oh, mess. Oh, my now, God. Now, would you not date a brother if he had a, if he one day he didn't have a beard, he'd come back next day and he got it dialed in? No. 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 I'm no. not doing that. I don't that. even like a real beard, so why would I was going to say, oh. it took me a second to even like a no beard. No oh, really? I love beard. <laughs> but when I saw oh, mine. No, the thing is, is I feel like if a man didn't earn it, he shouldn't wear it. So mm. if you were uh. not doing nothing with your life, you ain't got no business growing no goddamn beard. <laughs> 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 in 24 hours. In 24 hours. You don't have no business. Like, you got to be hard working to me like that. She's gone. <laughs> when I you say beard, like, I don't, obviously you have a beard, but I'm talking about those <laughs> disgust. I hate guys that have those beards and, like, the food gets stuck in yeah, there. Yeah, they got to oh, earn it. Uh, worst case scenario, <laughs> Worst case, because I have seen 
beards with crap in it. Like, ew. Well, he or the mustache that come down uh, over no. the lip. Yeah, right. No. 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 He so old. Like, that old, and that's old. That's like, old. No. That's Just say that's no. A cat, that's a cat daddy right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little mama, you drive an Impala. <laughs> hey, cat, come here, baby. I know you got an Impala. <laughs> And then it just like start. <laughs> That's gross. Flopping up like so top. one beard. You do like beards. I love beards. I think they're great, especially like a little salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. But because what's for like the old out. men? So yeah, first of all, no, just saying. No. <laughs> Like, yeah. like you put yourself out there. But wait, Whisper like, wanted to do. She can cash his check. Give me your right, check. exactly. <laughs> Thank you, little mom. <laughs> wait, but do you like? Do you like the beards like that you could grab or like Donald's beard? Uh, Hilarious. Like, oh, she it. tried that so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I know mad at her. I like a full, I like a full beard. Some like Rick Ross. Too, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. if it's like oh close God. to their face, you can't. I mean, that's fine if it's close to their face. That's a starter kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a starter. Start. <laughs> like she said, he's starting out. now. You want to like grip on it. Oh, see. <laughs> that would hurt. That would hurt somebody's face. That would depend hurt. On when you, Gosh, look, cheap. depend on when you're pulling on it. Yeah, exactly. no, you just walking up, pulling it. Yeah. Uh-huh. If you wait till another moment. Yeah. You yeah. will tuck on that face. Shit. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you pull, I tug. Exactly. <laughs> so she likes a little beard. All right, <laughs> and we know you like little older brothers. A little older, a little older. Somebody needs some salt in their beard. Little salt. Look, put it in. <laughs> but you like Shelly, just sprinkle in some some food or something. Yeah. Go get some white out. Oh, get a little white so out. Put a little there. white out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Like you can't comb it. Huh? No. No. Not long enough to comb. She like this. See, no, see her face. Like she like that's the best one. Okay. When you sitting, when you you got your, you do less now. Little comb. They put all the little conditioner and stuff in it. Take good care of it. Yeah, it and it got a nice cute. little gloss on it. And it smell good. Mm. Mm. Like, How smell close good. are you? Right. Oh, I'm <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> all right, whisper. Close, right. She Tell us 40. how you really feel. <laughs> and you put your pussy on it. Tastes good. Oh my good. gosh. <laughs> Leave no a little filter, juice. Sir, Leave a little little reminisce when you reminisce. Yeah. <laughs> it gotta be clean. Right. <laughs> Shelly, stay focused. I'm very focused. No, you're not, because you're gonna ask the question again. <laughs> what kind of beard she like? <laughs> no, they said I'm not a good fit for the show anymore because I don't like beards. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> There's a lot of bearded That's dudes right. in the chat room. <laughs> That'd be all right. Now, what kind of guys you like? Yeah. Cat. Nice guys. Tall, short, chubby, older, younger, don't matter. At this point, that part doesn't matter. It really has to do with your soul, like how nice of a person you are, how you treat mm-hmm. other people. Like that, Amen. At this point, like that's really all that matters because um, I've dated from different aspects of what a mm-hmm. person was like. Mm-hmm. That really is no. And, and we did say, uh, we asked, what if an older brother, he's older, and he say he's trying to chase a dream. Is that cool? What do you mean chase a dream? <laughs> He want to be a rapper. Like he want to be a rapper. Like, he, at like he's not making any money yeah. at all. Like he's no, 30. look at your face. <laughs> no. If, if like, it's a no, rap son. career, I'm not gonna say yeah, jump into it because we all know that it's kind of like modeling. You got to start young in order yeah, to build that up. But <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna say that you shouldn't start chasing any type of dream. Okay. I mean, because isn't it the Coca Cola guy didn't start until he was 55? So it's oh, plenty really? of people that okay. didn't become yeah. m- build their companies until after retirement from their first job. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm actually, definitely not gonna say now, don't chase a dream, but don't chase that dream. I'll ask this <laughs> right. like, Not that one. Not that one. Do you guys mind a fixer upper? When oh, it when it comes to a guy. Oh, oh, what do you mean fixer upper? You can't fix nobody. Well, first of all, no, you, you know, no women that took dude off the street and dusty mom. And <laughs> 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 Listen, that's the thing. I, <laughs> I, 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 I did that. You had to fix. <laughs> I, I done fixed plenty of people, so that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> They they get that uh, man. They still treat you like shit. Nah, I'm good. There like you go. if. if I'm willing to work with anybody. We all got our flaws. But yeah. if you're not willing to make yourself a better person, mm. then I'm not going to sit here while you continuously continue on these same bad behaviors. Yeah. That's For not sure. going to work. That so part, if you're yeah. willing to get better, then we can get better together, but not on no bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come pick you up at your mama house every day. I'm 35. I'm not picking nobody up at their mama house. Wait a minute. What? What, 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 man, what? Yeah, you picking no niggas up at, at his mama's house. I mean, unless like, he visited um, her. Hold up, she no. said she's not paying rent, so why would she pick mm-hmm. up oh, yeah, the mama's house? That, yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> that part, I'm just saying. Just okay, saying. well, my mama lived with me. How about that? That's fine. 
That's a lie. That's always a lie. <laughs> no, 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 I know no, somebody that took care of their mama. Like, I really know somebody that, like, really had to take care of their mom. So I'm like, all right, cool. But that means they also paying that mortgage and they paying that bills. And your mm-hmm. mama's literally living right here and you taking care of her. Yeah. So if you yeah. really mooching off of your parents and you the same age as me, we got a problem. Right. I need to talk to your mama. <laughs> who owns this, this house? Who, who right. the least? Like, for right. real. Right. I mean, I've been doing this since I was 16 years old. That's when I had my daughter. So I'm not going to take no, like, you ain't going to be no lazy bum and have me in your face. I'm not yeah. doing it. Like, I know that's right. <laughs> okay. Nah. Cat don't play. I can't. <laughs> cat will cut you with a K. <laughs> <laughs> with a K. <laughs> with a K. <laughs> that part. <laughs> that part. He tried it. <laughs> so we got single, 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 married. 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 They don't yep. tell me I'm married. I know I'm married. I'm just reminding you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> This is your last day. <laughs> <laughs> not you going to oh, tell her in the middle of her shift. You know this your last day. <laughs> in case you want to walk out yeah, In now. case you want to test some shit up before you leave. This is your last day. Oh, my God. Could you guys imagine being single right now with how things are? Because you've been married, you said, like, 20-something years? No, it'll be 14 in April. Oh, 14. So that's a... Thank you. That's really good. That's a nice run. Yeah. Uh, nice run. Nice run. Wow. Nah, because if y'all still good and happy, like, right. that's a great accomplishment. Because right. that Especially is not... LA. Dude. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I'm out here struggling. <laughs> no, I think mean, when you, I when you find I'm somebody like, and, up, and y'all work it out, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. yeah. But what, what's the longest relationship you had? Three and a half years. See, that's where it's going to come in. When you meet somebody and then you get to that three and a half years mm-hmm. where you've never been four or five was when it gets scary. Because I, I found out it was me. Because I, I usually Man, never, I I never went. I could have told you that. Nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. Rain signs. <laughs> the shade of it. You said the shade of it all. But he said he was a cheat. Oh, like, obviously, yeah. you are the problem. From long range. <laughs> <laughs> From the grassy knoll. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Change my Six nine. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Uh, no, I, I realized that when I would get to around five years with a girl, I would just start like Back lose interest. Mm. Yeah, totally to be like I, I was already fucking other bitches, but wow. She That's was, why we knew you she was my one. Mm. No, yeah. That's the no, it doesn't. Yeah. Like, you better hope I have a two and a three. Keeps so that way. I ain't focusing on your ass all day. So it sounds like back in the day you wasn't shit. You was out here at all. <laughs> I'm gonna right. go with out here. I wasn't. Really out here. I like that version. I feel of it. like men to have to potato, get out, potato, you know I mean? same thing. Because you gotta think about it like this: men, we grow up with that whole mindset. Who like me mm-hmm. as a kid? Mm-hmm. And somebody's friend go, "My friend like you," and then we lose our mind over that girl that liked yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. So we once we get past, <laughs> I like you, and then these women like me. And then you get older, and it's like, okay, they're going to be there regardless. Now I need to focus mm-hmm. on, you know, making a life for myself, making a, a life mm-hmm. for these kids. So mm-hmm. As I got older, I was like, I need to change this shit. No, that's good. I don't cheat no more. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. No, I'm just kidding. Damn. Damn. Oh, man. That's messed up. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, I you hope I'm so kidding. Much <laughs> wow. Now that was funny. He <laughs> said, I hope I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, no. But it seems like men, it's like they have to get all of that out. Like, yeah. But what does yeah. that mean? Get but like, all that out. Like, what like that mean? they just be hoes. And it's just like, they got to reach a maturity point. Exactly. You didn't hear what I said? And we you, spend most of our early life going, I hope somebody like me. And then mm-hmm. you find out somebody like you. Then you find out the homie be like, yo, you know, girl like you. What? Yeah, but see, mm-hmm. we can't, you can't have us falling in love with you at 30 and then y'all don't get it together till 45 because that's 15 years of motherfucker. I don't trust you. Guess what? <laughs> right. I'm 45, nigga. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do me. You going to do you and we can go and split these deals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she from LA. <laughs> he came in My and cooked man. and said, nigga, I don't give a fuck who you're rent at or you ain't getting this food. <laughs> Right. <laughs> See, I know you're happy now, y'all. The A's. So <laughs> <laughs> relax. <laughs> <laughs> but it it really is. We just have to. It takes us a minute. Now, I'm not saying every guy. Hmm. There's some some people get it at 18. The majority of my friends didn't get it till they was 30, 40 years old. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why they older. Okay. But that's near yeah, what but I know. Like until it's... about forty at least, then mm. that's when they start mm. saying, "Okay, she been down, so let me stick with it." Nah. Mm, but mm. I think it's different because you're <laughs> in the industry and most of your friends are. So I feel like that's a little different than the average guy. Because 
industry guys get girls just throwing themselves at them oh, yeah. all the time. Well, Especially colleges. All mm-hmm. it's, 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 they're it's all the same age. They're all the same age. No matter how yeah. old the guy gets, they still the young ass girls that's going to throw it and not give a fuck. They, mm-hmm. they with everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because, exactly. They with it all. Right, but, sweetie. Because uh, McVeigh said, not all men. Some of us respect I, black I women said as not, Mother ooh. Earth and treat them accordingly. McVeigh. Okay. Well, that's See? why I'm, I need somebody that treats a woman like Mother Earth Mother and accordingly Earth. all McVeigh. that good stuff. You didn't <laughs> hear me. I said not all men. I don't make that generalization that all men are like that. I said there's some guys out there that look 18, 20, and they ready, they ready to settle down. Yeah. Most of the guys I know, if you put 10 guys standing there, at least seven of them are like, let me feel what else is going on. Mm. And then, sure. but you also had the situation where, like, I've known a couple of people that, yeah, fell in love with their high school sweethearts. Mm-hmm. But by the time they get to be 40, 45, they never sold, sold their oats. Yeah. So, therefore, mm-hmm. now they go and explore, and it's like, oh, damn. That girl in your office said, oh, you're cute. And yeah, next thing you know, like, now I got to find out. Attention. Like, <laughs> no, I gotta, I, no, I got to find out how cute I am. We got a phone call. Call her, what's your name? And have you sown your oats yet? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Vernon. Vernon. Okay, this is this is something that um that I read up on and I watched. The the when you're in the industry that I don't know about, but my thing is is that it's two different things to be in the industry and to be regular. A twenty year old in the industry is actually thirty five. Hmm. And a twenty year old outside the industry is maybe twenty one, twenty two. Because you, cause if you're in the industry, you have to grow up a lot faster, mm-hmm. and you have a lot more things going on than than a, than the average person. But but I think the thing you're missing, Vern, is that it's so many women when you're young. When I was, I started doing stand up at 30. So at 30, I was meeting and traveling. I had never, I've been out of L.A. a few times, but I wasn't like that. And then you're yeah, that see, dude when I'm you come saying. off stage. You're like, it's but that's what I'm there. saying. Yeah, but and you it's, have an opportunity. If you are a young man or mm-hmm. a young woman, I ain't, I ain't discount, I'm discounting y'all. <laughs> if you have an opportunity to actually go out there and see other things and be introduced to other things, you go, well, oh, okay. Let me see well, what's out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And and I, I feel like it's a bad double standard for that. For if a woman go out and she just, let's say she's just serial dating. She's not even sleeping nah, with you. Nah, you <laughs> what? <laughs> so what were you? Dating does not equate to hey, sex, Petey. Right, that's she, true. Eventually it will. I'm At like, some point, like, you're going to break me up. like if a woman is out there and all she's doing is actually Mm-mm. dating and, and, and getting to know the field, there's nothing wrong with that. She's not sleeping with but nobody. But that's not how it comes off, though, Vernon. Again, exactly. we live in a society that says one thing about a woman and nothing about a man. You're never going to change that. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. You never can change that well, narrative. Nobody cares about what society thinks. But I, yeah, you but don't I care. But then you don't want to be seen that way. Mm. Who, but no, but you don't care if you don't care what other people think. Like you don't know. No, you care if you didn't care what people think. You wouldn't wear a certain. You wouldn't wear your clothes a certain way. That's not but true. See, okay. It is true. No, we we gonna debate this, but, but see, we gonna wait, let Vern get his. Okay, go ahead, Vern. What Speedy just said is actually <clears throat> the absolute truth. For Thank the you. simple fact is, is that when people say, oh, "I don't give a fuck about what nobody say," yeah, you do. Everybody cares about what somebody says at some point in time, because. You're a caterer. You're a caterer. Ooh, that caterer, was up. Caterer, right. <laughs> caterer. Caterer. Too many E's. You cater. So you go upon most, more than anything, is word of mouth. Right? Yep. So you care what your customers think. You're not going to come in there wearing no teddy and just dress how you want to dress. You have to come dress professional, mm-hmm. right? Absolutely. Right, but that's her, like, going to get her bag. I'm talking about, like, when y'all brought it up as far as, um like, how women are perceived. If you're dating multiple men, people assume you're fucking all these guys. And I'm saying that's not necessarily the case. It and it's like, is. Who? Exactly. No, it's not. How are you going to? Are you a woman? I'm, I'm a dude. That's really what it is. I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, dating I'm the dude I'm looking. I, if I see you, and every time I see you, hang with a different dude, you can, I don't, you can assume no way whatever no. you want to assume, well, but I'm just saying, I don't care. But, right. But, but I'm saying. But for a lot of women, dating is not the same thing as sex. You can be dating or talking to three right. or four guys and not mm-hmm. sleeping with none of them. Right. But I don't know that. I'm a, right. But it's not I, but, for you to know because you're not her. But, but and then, you need to worry about her vagina. Like, that's for I her I do to need know. to worry about because I want to date her. Uh, <laughs> but she may not want to date you. Sure. Pretty sure she does. You can afford her. Thank you, Vern. Please. That's not the same. Dating and sleeping with people are not the same thing. And you shouldn't care about what you want. But other you're people absolutely assume, right. Like, oh, but they gonna think we I'm do. All these guys. We do assume. Well, hold on. But how are you gonna run into the girl when she got four different men? 
Like you gonna see her with one, then you gonna see her with the other, and, and you gonna her assume her that they, nah. she at least one, two of them niggas hit. I mean, maybe but she's why? sleeping with one, but that's not nobody's business. I'm talking about as far as her caring what other people think. I'm just saying you Man. shouldn't care what if, if other people assume that oh you're dating or you're sleeping with all these men. Mm. So let people think whatever they're gonna think. Yeah, that's true. Feel however you gonna feel. It is. It's, it's not nobody. Yeah, because they can gossip and be mad, sleeping. and then when you finally sell down, and be like. Oh. Right, that ain't nobody's now, business like, but her. still ain't got it. All right, so, so if you see me with, with different women, every time you see me, I got a y- different young lady. You're just going to assume, oh, he's just probably just dating them. I'm not talking about other people. Well, like, like, I'm going to assume you're trying to hit. I'm going to assume you're trying to hit. She's assuming right, I'm but trying. People can assume, but my point is you don't have to care what other people think. But but people I'm saying at some point assume. you do care what other people think because you wouldn't have wore the outfit. You would have wore whatever. You, you could have different colors because you don't care what people think. Right. So why would you match it up then? Because, because you care I do what that people for think? me. Because right, people, people, she cares. Like me. I get cute to walk past uh, there, there store mirrors, not for other well, people. It does matter. Like it, I'm just saying, like in the sense of you don't have to That's care about what other people think because you can do whatever you do for you yourself. You care about what you think. Mm-hmm. I care yeah, and like about. and like he talked about like her profession. Yeah, when it comes to your business, like yeah, yeah then you because you want customers, you want people to like your product, right. so that's different. But exactly. just in your day to day or your romantic life, I don't well, give a fuck when nobody guess, thinks about my love life because that's for me. And my point I was trying to get across was. We could sit here and go, okay, if, if you ask if a guy fucks 14 girls, mm. nobody's going to say he's a hoe. Y'all can say it. It don't mean shit to, to a dude. We go, I don't give right, a he is a hoe. Right. Probably. I just but but it's not that's no action. bad thing for right, us. Like, so, but that don't mean he got to give a fuck that y'all think he's a hoe. That's my point. Yeah. He he probably, we, 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 don't. we don't. Right. But yeah. if, so why are we if, arguing about it? No, no. It's saying <laughs> if the girl has five guys, right. we're going to look like, what the fuck? Yeah, right. unfortunately. Yeah, that's why so men. We talking, so we're having two different arguments. You're talking no, about not. a double standard, and I'm talking about you don't. But have I'm to saying care that double God. standard. Right. You know, I'm <laughs> saying the double arguments. standard is there. It is. I never said it wasn't there. Okay. Because some people that, go. That wasn't well. my okay. point. Mm. Right. See, we ain't. See, we need to be here, sweetie. Be oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you you changed. You changed. You raised your voice at me. I feel. Because you changed the whole point. I think I'm going to cry now. I'm a little hurt right now. Because you're a West Coast boy, sweetie. West Coast boys are sensitive. East Coast girls, like we're passionate about what we're talking about. Word. Yeah. <laughs> did you say word? I, did. I brought it back. I brought it back. Word. Like, word. All you gotta do is add up to them. Like, <laughs> I will say, for me, I definitely have lived life differently because I had brothers, and they were always like, people will think a certain thing of, about you if you mm. do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Just just around like t- when I turned 25, 26 is when I started to be like, hey, I'm going to just do my own Live thing. Live your life, right. Mm-hmm. But do for you. a very long time, especially when I lived back home, I didn't really date a lot because everybody knew my brothers. And oh, I didn't want nobody to be there. like, man, your sister is out here. She's doing <laughs> oh you my know God. What I mean? She is going on dates. Yeah. You know, but they don't even, say that. Even still now to this day, I really don't do certain things mm. because I feel like I don't want to be perceived a certain way. Mm. See? So. Okay. Well, that's but it's, that's me. Like, but that's, that's me. I'm not even going to keep talking about the state argument because yeah. that's not, not what I'm but saying. But I always, I commend people who don't really, really, truly don't give a fuck about what somebody thinks. Mm. But me, I do care and I don't want to ever be perceived in a certain way. Yeah. Yeah. Even though your name Whisper. <laughs> it's so, so funny. It's be on the phone like, Whisper? Oh, she black. She black. <laughs> Hey, Whisper. That is so hey, you wouldn't even up. say a word. Uh, you'd be like, uh, this is Whisper. <laughs> she wants wow. the chicken. She got box oh, braids. Damn. I bet you. She got box braids. <laughs> I bet you. <laughs> you got a phone call. Call her. What's I'm your so name? Done. Where are you calling from? Do you got box braids? <laughs> Yo, it's the L out of Houston. Take that L. Hey, L. What's going on? Speedy, you did switch the argument up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why you always call in agreeing with them, bro? <laughs> hey, 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 I'm gonna stop taking your calls, you L. Some... I'm gonna stop gotta... taking your calls. Speedy, you gotta give me some shit to work with. Me... <laughs> L, I'm gonna stop taking your calls, bro. Speedy, I be trying. I'm it's I'm just me in the baby. room. You gotta ride with me, even if I'm wrong. Ride with me. <laughs> call me later and go. No. Speedy, don't do that. Speedy, I'll be with you, man. But then you fuck it up. I was, I was with you, and then you switched up on me. Where did I switch up at? First, you said that you were talking about how people perceive you and how, you know, caring about what people think about you. Okay. Then you start talking about how you perceive as, as uh, talking about women and Double men standards. And how they're perceived as far as <clears throat> you switch the whole thing up. Like, me, if a man sleep with a bunch of women, 
it's cool, but if a bunch of women sleep with a bunch of men and they they whole she sleep with you two. switch the whole shit up from where you started. Right. I was like, <laughs> I, I, I was with you, Speedy. <sighs> Well, yeah, yeah, well couldn't you did this off air, nigga? Why you gotta call and check me? <laughs> like I am not crazy. He switched the argument. Thank I did you. not switch the argument. Right, please, My bad. Oh, All right, man. call back. Try to again. I'm trying to. Get again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Call back. Call back. We'll pretend like this. We'll pretend like this call never happened. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Like I always, I'm always amazed when guys, friends of mine, will ask a girl how many guys you've been with. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think that's the stupidest thing to ask. Because mm-hmm. it doesn't matter to me. It don't matter. I, uh, yeah. I'm going to assume, like she assumes the worst. It's the worst. Oh, so worse. knowing it's the worst, I'm not going to ask. It don't matter because mm. yeah. I didn't know you then. So you got a clean slate with me. There. Yeah. So I can care less in that sense. Yeah. But you still make sure they it's get tested, right? Exactly. Y'all thought that was a goofy question asking people, how many people have you slept with? What, what difference is, What does that have to do with you and what we're doing? I would right? be like, exactly. when's the last time you had an STD test? Right. You can Ask sleep with one person question. and get AIDS or sleep with 20 and not, never get it. So. Yeah. Well, I, I did the 20. Anyway. Oh, my God. Yeah. I never did. Exactly. I don't have it. <laughs> Allegedly. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no cold sores here. Anyway. Oh <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just uh, again. Ha- do you have guys ask you all the time, or Mm-mm. no? No, well, I know people do ask. I don't think anyone's ever asked me in a while. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whisper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, people, really? People you're dating would ask that, mm-hmm. right? Not a random. I, I never had yeah. a girl ask me that. In all my years of dating, I think maybe young you girls might ask that. Like that again. question was floating around when I was like twenty, twenty two, but after like twenty five, nobody. Knows. Yeah, I still have people. But then I wasn't that. entertaining anybody. Either. But then you're you're twenty so. something. So my friend, her her she she keeps her number low, but it's it's not the true number, and, <laughs> and it's like if her man knew, he would be mortified. He'd be crushed. He'd be crushed. Yeah. So so, so what what's I'm low? Like, what's low? Like five. I feel like five. I wouldn't believe that. Yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. How old is she? Oh, Thirty-three. No. <laughs> no. No. That's no. Well, I'm not out of the. I'm not out of the double digits. You know, most of my friends are in like, or I'm not double digits. Most okay. of my friends are. But if someone and they, was, be, they be making fun of me, like you ain't got no experience. I'm like, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good I'm thing, like, right? Like, commendable. Like, whole lot of knuckleheads I mean, on girl, my team. I'm trying to get out here, but I just yeah. I keep running into the to the smalls. Oh my God. <laughs> What's the count now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, never mind, sir. I'm, I'm leaving. Oh, wait, Steve, why wouldn't you I'm believe it? The number five. I will leave. I wouldn't believe I'm the number five that. if you were over 30, 35 years old. There's no way in the world you've only been with five guys. I would never believe One it. of my friends is 40. She just turned, no, she'll be 40 in December, and she's been with. Four guys. Like, then, that's like even if she very told very me very that, different. I would in my mind but go, okay, late, that's fine. But I wouldn't she believe was, it. She stayed a virgin until she was thirty. Exactly. Oh. So that's why I was yeah. wondering was she just she's she did what, what, yeah. what if she was like a kind of person that only like did it in relationships and she only had like well, four boyfriends? Well, if she exactly. came, four partners, but if she came to me and said, "Hey, I was a virgin until I was thirty, then that's different. Right. Would you believe her? You believe It depends when. It depends after I hit. If she's doing flips and she tells, get your leg over here. No, well, maybe she had four guys that taught her a lot. No, you didn't learn that. You don't learn to flip. You only need one to teach you. No. You need way more. more. You need different experiences. You got to be like, that's too big. No. Uh, it never, never is. <laughs> we got phone call. Call her, what's your name? <laughs> and where you call it from? Oh and apparently, oh is it ever too big? <laughs> I will not call oh, you that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Whisper, I can't work. Hey, uh, I, I was actually calling to give you a little backup speed, man. Thank I you, think bro. I don't want your point to have gotten lost. And I think some of the ladies have valid points. Sometimes you do get kind of caught up in an old mindset. <laughs> but your point, was, your point was valid that there are women out there who are going out on a lot of dates pretending that they're not actually sleeping with people, but they really are. Mm -hmm. And they're doing the same behavior. So if you're emulating people that are (sighs) behaving loosely, you might have that same appearance, and so you're running the risk that you might be perceived that way. And I think what Speedy was inartfully saying was that if you're looking like someone who is doing certain things, you might be perceived the same way. Mm -hmm. To be cautious of that. That's good advice whether or not you choose to take it. 
and only you know whether or not you're the sort of person that's doing the sort of things that are going to give you a bad reputation. See, I like how he phrased it. Ain't that speaks. a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Can't call you big, but thank you, D. I just, I just like the, <laughs> the tone of his voice. <laughs> like, he's about yeah. to talk about smooth I'm jazz. Like, like, <laughs> are you coming to L.A.? Uh, <laughs> Whisper, we got to find you, man. We got to hurry up, man. <laughs> You are trying. She, she's right. on the phone. She's yeah, listening right. to me. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> who is D? Hey, D. I've been with two guys. <laughs> Matchmakers at rollout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Shelly Real. Right. Um, yeah. If she, if the girl told me no, I hadn't. Like, okay, there was this. I'll never forget. There was this girl who I had known for a while. We never dated. We finally dated. We go out somewhere and she come back to the house. She goes, all right, so I'm going to tell you. I'm like, she's like, I'm a virgin. I'm like, ooh, mm. yeah, I can't do that. You're going to turn into a Klingon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I can't really. very confident I can't, I can't do virgins because then they don't never leave. It's like that little puppy that never mm. just stays there by the door. So I'm oh. like, eh. Look at you having boundaries. So <laughs> <laughs> Like, I was like, nigga, just go on, hook me up. And then, you know, I, can't, I didn't want to be her first. Uh-uh. But she told me she was working. I knew she was working. That's awesome. Yikes. It was cool. Yeah. But no, I can't do it for No. Y'all just, they, they'll never leave the house. They just <laughs> stay there forever. And now they're in love with me and they're calling every day. You think very highly of yourself. Uh, that's happening. I don't understand why. As he should. Thank you. I don't know See, what I, I you look at. I back sometimes, sweetie. Thank I, you. I try. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> what's your name again? Uh, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you right. You right. But team, I was playing with you, girl. <laughs> it is the rollout show. It is uh, rollout live with Speedy and friends. <clears throat> Chefs in the building. Which thank you so very much for the food. Oh, you're Fire. welcome. She was sending pictures. <laughs> it was people that's not coming to the show. Like I think I'm gonna come by. No. Right. <laughs> no, don't come by. Please don't do that. Uh, the food was fantastic. Yeah. Again, yeah. what was in that dish? It was garlic mashed potatoes topped with grilled chicken, a blackened shrimp, bacon, green onions, and mango madness bone cleaner barbecue sauce. Bomb. How? Who had the chicken? Me. How was it? It was, was, really, it? It was really good. Mm. Thank you. Overseasoned, seasoned, perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. Nice and juicy. It was great. Mm. Thank you. Well, yeah. See, that's no, why you don't you cook the meat the day before. <laughs> Cook right, it. exactly. <laughs> so that wasn't microwave? No, not at all. <laughs> Do you even own a microwave? No, actually, I don't. Shut up. No, I don't. I That's don't. Good. I don't. I like air fryers. Yeah. Air fryers. Are. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, I use them, but I don't even, yeah, I, um, but I don't own a microwave. That's what's up. Yeah. No popcorn? I know how to make it on the stove with the oil and the corns and... She is serious about it. Yes, do it. Shit. Nigga, I would have <laughs> never left your house. Like, Where are you going to put my bag? Baby? Like, you made... You, made, <laughs> you mean uh, to tell me you shook the pot? My mother used to stand there. That's how I learned. Oh, my mama yeah. would do it. Yeah. She and you put the pot on there. And, the lid and, and she, you just keep shaking. Exactly. With the, uh, and let the it skillet. pop on it. Yeah. That real black skillet. And let it pop on out. So, yeah, so... That's how, I, that's how we grew up. Popcorn. <laughs> I got to get my kids away from the microwave popcorn. Yeah. I bought one of those ones that you turn it. They have them at uh, head at Marshalls. Mm-hmm. In the oh, those. It's uh, yeah, you, you it's a popcorn maker. Uh-huh. <laughs> Plug it in and do like this with oh, a little oil cool. in it, and it starts popping. Oh, kind of mm-hmm. like the the lettuce spinner, you know, the mm-hmm. dryer. Oh, that's dope. I would be so mad if you See? brought that over right. like that. What? <laughs> right. <laughs> like we turned in butter. This? Like, what's happening? This is punishment. You want a man or not now? <laughs> Shit, come on, Annie Mae. Let's make the popcorn. <laughs> See? See, that's why. You wonder why motherfuckers say, I got to turn. Turn, bitch. Let me know you Get like me. elbow oh, grease in there. <laughs> that's like going to a... That's like, I, I used to find it hard to believe that women didn't have cable. Hmm? Fair. <laughs> Most women, when I was dating, didn't have cable. Like TV? Cable? Why? Well, they had TV. They just didn't have cable. So, this so is what did y'all do back, back in the... No, I didn't stay. I, <laughs> I don't get like, it. No, what did they do back in those times? I, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> back in those times. times. <laughs> it's some women now don't have cable. Well, that's different. We because got, now like, there's got streaming Netflix. services. Yeah, but, but at the end of the day, if you invite a young man over, you should have cable so he can watch the game. Or no. First of all, you're not going to come visit. You over. Thank you, Shelly. Right. Like, no. Oh. Y'all must really think highly of yourself. You <laughs> <ain't> highly <laughs> of yourself. <laughs> if you come on over, you ain't finna come over to watch no damn Exactly. TV. That. Well, I mean, unless it's Thanksgiving. Well, it's, it's different if she's also into sports and they could sit and watch a game. But if you don't give a shit about sports. Then okay. why am I at your house? Well, so I ain't got to watch a game in your house. house. We're going to watch a movie. Best. And then. Hey, man. <laughs> 
Yes, you can do that, do that at my house. Nah, I mean, I done did game. game days and stuff like that, but... None of yeah. y'all like sports? I, oh, I go, like sports. Yeah. I would I go do. to like a sports bar and watch it, but I wouldn't want to sit in the crib and watch it because I don't really like sports. So I would go and like sit at a bar with a dude and watch a game. But yeah, I mean, I watch basketball, watch it. but it's yeah. just saying. Nothing. Trying to help y'all out. Trying to right now your your pool is very shallow. That's okay. Whatever. You sprinkling sprinkle in that you like sports. Just Speedy, Karina said to tell you that during those days we had thirteen channels for free. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> during those days. Shut up. <laughs> I ain't that old. It is Roll Out Live with Speedy and Friends. We take a quick break. Come right back. Thank you so very much for Thank bringing the food. For Give your information me. one more time. I'm gonna go get uh, seconds. Instagram <clears throat> underscore chef cat with a K. And then the Bone Cleaner Barbecue Sauce page on Instagram is Bone Cleaner underscore BBQ Sauce. Uh, website, Bone Cleaner BBQ Sauce dot Big Cartel dot com. And uh, you can email me. I do make custom recipes for restaurants and other uh, people that need them. Um, right. So you can email me at Bone Cleaner BBQ at Gmail dot com. And I will be going out with my fellow chef friend, A Quiet Cook, on Sunday the 17th. Um, we're going to be feeding people and passing out toiletries. And if you would like to help donate um, for our next event mm -hmm. uh, in December, um, we have an Amazon wish list. Uh, the name is Pay It Forward on Amazon. And you can go to my Chef Cat page, and the link is right there. And um, we have a bunch of different things that need to be ordered and we'll be passing them out uh, at the next event. So we really so, appreciate so, it. But if you want to help out Sunday, can they just show up? Uh, they can show up. I mean, we need hands for people that want to help out. Um, if you want to come with some toiletries, that'd be great. Or cases of water. Um, we already have the food that's going to be going out there. I uh, just haven't made it yet. Um, but yeah, Sunday. Um, what are you making for? Actually, um, we'll, I'll be doing a bunch of uh, mashed potato, mm -hmm. garlic mash, and then I'm making a homemade chili on top of it. Oh my so gosh. they'll be getting the mash and chili. Oh, some with some look. good substance. Speedy, why are you lying? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Just put it in the bowl and shut up. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we'll be doing this um, this week, uh, chili on the mash. Um, and then we have toiletry kits and we have Homemade uh, chili? so many clothes to pass but does, out. But does your chili have uh, meat in it? Yeah. yeah. Then, then you can't eat it. Really. I just like talking about it sometimes. You can pick a bean mm -hmm. out. I'm going to put beans in it. <laughs> yeah, I can't go on dates so I can talk about it. <laughs> so but I, yeah. This is my uh, outlet. <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> yeah, I know, so. Anyway. Oh, that's right. No, I said I was going to do that. There we go. All right, we took a quick break. Come right back. Do not move. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you the, so much the best. For We're going to take some me. pictures. And then... Um, have you signed the wall? I haven't. I will. Okay. I'm going to now. Put your, put, <laughs> you go on. Put your. Uh, there you go. Put your set on there. Go on, put bone cleaner. <laughs> 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 Who did that? A rapper? Oh, no, she's a One time for Nipsey Hustle. Hey. Hey. Don't move. We'll be right back.